respect you all in divine love just to let you know that Jesus is still the answer. He's the answer for our world today, supplying all our needs. I welcome you to Destiny Empowerment Chapel International. This is the place where winners are born, champions raised, and lives are built and nurtured to the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our core value and vision is to empower people through the teach preaching of God's infallible and unadulterated life in all facets of life. If today is the first time of visiting us in Destiny House, I specially welcome you to the best place on the earth where God lives. Come on now, clap your hands for all our first timers. Clap your hands for all our guests today. Before we go into the word of God, I would like you to quickly take your mobile phones, go on Facebook and share the link to bless our viewers all over the world. Destiny House or go to Bernard Taylor or you can log on to Bernard Taylor Ministries. Share the link and let somebody receive Jesus. If you are not part of us, we would like to encourage you to become a covenant member. It takes covenant to draw out the best of God. Tonight is a night of decision. Look at someone say, tonight is a night of decision. God speaking to Joshua in Joshua 24 verse 15. He said, if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose who this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your father or the gods of your mothers. So you have to be part of of what God is doing in this place. You have to be a covenant member. I would like to encourage you to take part of what God has begun in this place. Amen. I would like you to allow me a point of personal privilege to express my utmost gratitude to the First Lady of this great commission, to Reverend Alpha Jerry and to all the pastors and pastor-elect. To every elder, deacon and deaconess workers and to the members at large. Thank you very much for your commitment, dedication and loyalty to God's house and to God's work. It's been an amazing year. Look at your neighbor and tell him, oh hey, it's been an amazing year. Oh yes, it's been an amazing year of twists and turns, louder and crying, lessons and wisdom, losses, challenges and victories. But through it all, we've learned to thank and to trust in Jesus. Praise the Lord. We have Prophet Michael all the way from Takradi is here. Apostle Joseph Imprim from Liberia is in the house. My nephew, Apostle Frank Bruce is in the house. And we are excited for every leader and worker in God's half. Time is not my friend tonight, so we want to go straight into God's word for us to prepare ourselves to cross over. Look at your neighbor seated beside you and tell him or her, I'm excited to cross over with you. My goodness, if you stand for Cain's, then let's stand for the reading of God's infallible, unadulterated, unchanging, unchangeable word with all protocol observed. Pick up your Bible and say after me, this is my Bible. I believe it is the word of God. I am who and what it says I am. I can do what it says I can. I must have what it says I will. And so bless me God. If you have your Bible, you would like to turn it to Proverbs chapter 10 verse 21. I'm going to use it as an underlying, undergirding, and underscoring scripture fundamentally to build upon it. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 21. Let's read in concert. The lips of the righteous feed many. Shout with me. The lips of the righteous but fools die for want of wisdom. Lift your hands above your head. Father, we are excited to see a brand new season. Thank you for the many chapters of 2019. But we believe beyond every reasonable doubt that the chapters of 2020 will even be greater and better and 
bigger. And we are thankful to you tonight that you will give us wisdom and grant us power to access that which is invested in the unknown. Thank you, Jesus. And let every saint shout the loudest amen. Before you take your seat, give somebody a pre-Happy New Year hug. A pre-Happy New Year hug. You may be seated in heavenly places. Seated in heavenly places. I'm excited to see everyone. God bless you. Philosophically, from a theological perspective, our objectivity is to understand the wisdom keys we need to maximize impact in 2020. Using as a subject wisdom secrets for maximum impact. Be seated in God's presence and glean wisdom and glean power for the next season. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, scriptures makes it clear, abundantly clear, that the way of wisdom is the way of life. Slap your neighbor by the side and holler, the way of wisdom is the way of life. To be wise is to live. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. To be wise is to live. Proverbs 13 verse 14. I'm building my case. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Which means to follow wisdom laws is to be connected to life fountain. Causing the person to depart from the trap and the snare of death. The wise man speaking, I'm building my case in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 24. Be seated in God's presence. All shares protocol make provision for extra chairs by no one to distract the service. Be seated please. Proverbs 15 24. The wise man said the way of life is above to the wise that he may depart from hell beneath. So the wise will connect to the way of life. Look at someone said the wise will connect to the way of life. To be wiser means to live longer. To be wiser means to live longer. So when when, when the wise man said fools die for want of wisdom, it means that as, as the way of wisdom is the way of life, the way of foolishness is the way of death. And in 2020, God is encouraging, admonishing, and, and urging us to grab wisdom that will help us navigate our lives circumspectively. If you believe it, lift your hands and shout wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the things the Lord showed me is that wisdom can kill more than even poison. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 6. He say, forsake the foolish and leave. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 6. 2020, forsake the foolish and leave. And go in the way of understanding. In other words, if you are interested in life, foolishness must not coexist with you. As we are dancing and rejoicing in the Lord, we are also tapping into the wells of divine nuggets of insight. That foolishness must not coexist with us. The preacher from Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 17. The preacher speaking from Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 17. Am I confusing you? I'm building my case. It says that be not over much wicked. Ecclesiastes 7 17. Go ahead. Neither be thou foolish. 
And he says that, why should thou die before your time? It means that foolishness can make you die before your time. Pastor Frank, it's good to see you. That is, there are many today who are dead be before their time because of the strength of foolishness, not by the strength of the devil. So objectively, we are looking at the wisdom keys that will guarantee the preservation and maximum impact in 2020. Papa, what are you talking about? What are the wisdom keys, the secrets that will gravitate me to making maximum impact? impact the highest form of utility in 2020. Number one. Number one. Number one. Maintain your place in God's presence. Tap your neighbor softly and say maintain your place in God's presence. Maximum impact is the theme for 2020. And if we are going to enhance productivity, proficiency, and increase the speed of our exploit, number one, wisdom key to every child of God seated under the sound of my voice and watching via internet is maintain your place in God's place. You want your life to be preserved in 2020. You want to make maximum impact. Then, ladies and gentlemen, maintain your place in God's presence. David speaking in Psalm 91 verse 1, he said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. David speaking in Psalm 23 verse 4. He said, Yea, though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, he says, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. In 2020, I came to announce unto somebody that do everything you can to ensure that you are always rooted and embedded in the presence of the almighty God. Make sure that God is eternally and perpetually and eventually with you. No matter where you go, no matter what happens to you, maintain your place in God's presence. If you believe it, throw your hands and shout amen like a thunder. Two things to note. I'm in a rush. Two things to know. Number one, why is this very imperative expedient of, and of great necessity? Number one, safety outside God's presence is never guaranteed. Look at somebody and say, safety outside of God's presence is never guaranteed. Where you decide to keep your life outside of the auspices of God. You live at your own risk. Have you ever been to a place where they have written cars parked here are parked at the owner's own risk? Safety outside the presence of God is never guaranteed. You can never have indemnity sequester pr preservation. You can never have the cushioning, the, 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 the liturgy of God's presence circulating and surrounding you if you are dwelling outside the corridors of his presence. I declare somebody here tonight, may you never be alienated and isolated from the presence of God. If you believe in living your hands and shout amen like a prayer. Yeah. Number two, danger and divine presence do not coexist. Danger and divine presence 
do not coexist. They are mutually exclusive. They don't stay together. You, you cannot be in the presence of God and danger survives there. It can't happen. It doesn't happen. Once you are around evil, understand that the presence consumes evil. Once you are around divine presence, evil cannot hang around there. Danger and divine presence are diametrically opposed. They don't, they don't, they don't cohabit. Can I talk to somebody? Number two, wisdom key for maximum impact in 2020. Number two, maintain the shield of the word. Maintain your place. In God's presence. Don't be too busy helping people to sit down and you miss your word. Don't, don't miss your word because of another human being. Who actually came to church late to cross over. Stretch your hand and say maintain your place in divine presence. Number two. Maintain the shield of the word. David speaking in Psalm 91 verse 4. He said his truth shall be my shield and my buckler. John chapter 1 verse 1 to 5. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. The same was in the beginning. All things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. And it says that the light shined in the darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. And sure that at every particular time of your life. There is a revelation you are holding that guarantees your survival. You can't capture the world when you are wordless. I didn't come here tonight to make you jumpy and shout and go back home. Look at someone say, capture a rima. There is a light, there is an insight of God's word that you are convinced that you can die before your time. Hold on to that word. Hold on to that word. There is something out of the word of God that is the basis of your confidence that you cannot be wasted easily in 2020. Maintain the shield of God's word. Maintain your place in God's presence. Number two, maintain the shield of God's word. Two reasons. The word of God shields life directly and the word of God also builds faith which is a shield so the word of God shields life directly look at us the word of God shields life directly that is revelation of God's word is direct is, is a direct shelter don't go about 2020 wordless you become empty Vulnerable and susceptible to satanic atrocities. Carry fire. Carry word. Look at what say carry word. Beyond that God's word builds your faith. And your faith also shields your life. So the word is a direct shield. And the word builds faith. And faith shields your life. Number two. The word of God is light. That dissipates the forces of darkness. The light shining in the darkness. The darkness comprehended it not. The word destroys the power of darkness. I decree over your destiny. When the enemy comes in like a flood. You will not call your pastor. You will not cower. But you will stand and declare. I shall not die. For it is written. I will live to declare the works of God. Look at some and say, carry word. Carry word. When you are filled with the light of God's word, it disarms darkness. Maintain your place in God's word. Maintain your place in God's presence. Maintain the shield of God's word. Number three, give no room to fear. Slap your neighbor and say, give no room to fear. No room to fear. Job chapter 3 verse 20. 
5, it says, For the thing which I greatly feared has come upon me, and that which I was afraid of has come unto me. Can you imagine? John speaking in 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, quickly. He says that there is no fear in love, but perfect love casted out fear because fear has torment. Can you imagine? He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Fear has torment. 2020 become fearless. You, you didn't hear what I said. Number one, why? Because fear attracts the enemy and his activities. The devil and his evil activities is attracted in the direction of fear. I came to announce unto somebody the lions don't cry. Any other animal can cry. But have you ever seen a lion cry before? I declare over your life in 2020 no weapon formed against you you cannot be afraid Job said that which I was afraid has come the devil smells fear the enemy glows in fear the enemy shines in fear fear connects you with the things you fear you want to look at the devil and say in 2020 if you mess up with me i will punch you in your face i will stand and see the salvation of the law for no weapon no power no witchcraft no sangoma no opium no mami water spirit whatever i lost in 2019 the lord told me to tell you the days that the power and the caterpillar and the canker worm has eaten god shall rest i feel like preaching here today give no room to fear Number two, fear is the foundation of torment. Fear is the foundation for torment. To be afraid today is to be tormented tomorrow. To be afraid today is to be tormented tomorrow. The one who is afraid today is positioned for torment tomorrow. Look at your neighbor and holler to his face. Give no room to fear. 2020, deal brutally with fear. With the word of God, in prayer, in worship. Deal with fear. Deal with fear. Number four, wisdom key for survival, for exploit, for impact in 2020. Wisdom key. Ensure that you are surrounded by the company of the brethren. Ensure. 2020. Ensure that you are surrounded by the company of the brethren. Ensure. Acts chapter 4 verse 23. And they went to their own company. They went to their own company. They went to their own company. When they were threatened by the high priests, the Herodians, and the scribes, they went to their own company. The enemy has a company too. And the church of God also has a company. Acts chapter 14 verse 20. The disciples stood about him when Paul was being stoned. They stood up around about him. And when they stood around him, Paul rose up and came to the city. And sure that in 2020, you are bonded and surrounded by the company of the brethren. Two reasons. Number one, your surroundings determines your survival. 
your surroundings determines your survival. Surroundings affects survival. When a person is surrounded by dangerous animal, his survival is in jeopardy. Can I tell you something? 2020, who surrounds you determines what you can survive. If you are surrounded by midget, maggot, and chickens, you can only survive midget, maggot, and chicken circumstances. But if you are surrounded by giants, Rabandi Amahataya, in 2020, if that person cannot speak in tongues, he cannot be your friend. Be surrounded by people who can stand with you and say, my brother, instead of talking about it, let us go to God. Why? Because isolation is the foundation for destruction. Isolation. Surroundings affects survival. Anytime the devil wants to destroy you, he will first isolate you. Before the devil can destroy a person, he will alienate you from the brethren. When a man is cut off from the people that matters to his life, then destruction is imminent. Surrounding affects survival. 2020, be intentional about who surrounds you. Intentional. Intentional. Be intentional. Number five, avoid the wrong association. If you will make maximum impact in 2020, avoid the wrong association. Wisdom secret that God gave to me. Look at someone say 2020, if you want to excel, then avoid the wrong association. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 30. Proverbs 13 verse 20. A companion of fools shall be destroyed. Look at 2 Samuel chapter 15 verse 11. 200 young men followed Absalom to death. 2 Samuel 15 verse 11. 200 young men. Absalom said let us go. And do crazy things. They followed Absalom. And they followed him to die. Association. 2020. 200 innocent folks. Followed Absalom wrongly. All of them died innocently. Because they followed the person to death. They, they followed him to die. Second Samuel 15 verse 11. Beware who you are following. Because you may not know what is following them. Can I preach here today? Snap your name and say, beware who you are following. Because you may never know what is following them. Death was following Absalom. And 200 young men innocently, foolishly followed Absalom and they all died with him. Beware who you follow because you may never know what is following them. Beware who you are calling your best friend because you may never know what is following them. Jehoshaphat nearly died Ahab's death. Ahab said, let us go to war. Follow me to battle. He almost died. Two reasons why you have to be careful about your association in 2020. The wrong association can never lead to the right destination. 
Am I blessing somebody here? The wrong association can never lead to the right destination. It is not possible to follow the wrong association and end at the right destination. The wrong association is the enemy of right destination. It's the enemy of right destination. It can never lead you to the right place. Number two, the wrong association is the doorway to distraction in life and destiny. There are people who have been killed because of their friends. They have been killed. Because of their friends. Number six. Never take your peace for granted. In 2020. Look at someone say, Don't allow anybody to steal your peace. You don't have money. You don't have a husband. You don't have a good job. All you have is your peace. Don't allow anybody to add trouble to the peace. The peace of mind. Don't take it for granted. As I wrap up, Psalm 85 verse 8. Look at Psalm 85 verse 8. Philippians chapter 45 verse 6 to 7. He said, I will speak to you. I will hear what the Lord will speak. He will speak peace unto his people. Look at someone said, the Lord will speak peace. Philippians chapter 45 verse 6 to 7. Philippians 45, 6 to 7. Ensure that every major activity and decision of your life is carried out with peace. Two reasons. Peace is the, is the vehicle for divine direction. Somebody shout, peace is the vehicle for divine direction. And divine direction aborts enemy orchestration. That is, God speaks through peace. And the voice of God is what delivers us from the traps of the enemy. Let me give you this clue. You want to marry someone and you don't have peace in your spirit. That means you are about to marry disaster. You're going somewhere, you don't have peace in your spirit. Get back. Oh, on Thursday it happened to me. I heard the Holy Ghost turn back and go home. Three hours in traffic. Oh, yes. Any activity and transaction without peace in your spirit is a godly signal to abort and take a different direction. Never take your peace for granted. Number two, the absence of peace is signal for impending crisis. The absence of peace. Every time peace is lost, it means crisis is around. Never take your peace for granted. Anything you can't have peace about, it means something evil is around the corner. 2020, be sensitive. Look at something, be sensitive. Don't force yourself to have peace, to be at peace with what you don't have peace about. In 2020, don't Force yourself to be at peace with what you don't have peace about. You know there are people, when you come around them, your spirit is troubled. And still you want to eat with them. Don't force yourself to be at peace with what you don't have peace about. They will kill you one day. Don't force yourself. 2020. Never exist above God. Godly counsel. Number seven. Never exist. I'm wrapping up. Above godly counsel. Put your hands on your hands. Say, Father, help me to stay submissive. Proverbs eleven fourteen. Where no counsel is, the people fall. Proverbs twenty four verse six. For by wise counsel, thou shalt make thy war. And in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. 
Two things. The way of counsel is the way of preservation. Never exist above counsel. Number two. The avoidance of counsel is the acceptance of crisis. Where a person has decided to avoid counsel, you will embrace crisis. Nobody can advise you. Get ready for crisis. When a dog wants to die, it doesn't hear the whistle of the owner anymore. You must hear the whistle of God. Look at someone and say, give ear, give your ears to God. And number eight, live in love. Slap in the bed and say, live in love. First John chapter 3 verse 14 to 15. Live in love. Songs of Solomon chapter 8 and verse 6. Slap in the bed say, if you want to prosper in 2020, live in love. Set me as a seal upon thy heart. As a seal upon thy arm. For love is strong as death. For love is strong as death. First John chapter 14, chapter 3, verse 14 to 15. Look at this 14 to 15. It says that we know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. For whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Don't live in bitterness in 2020. Live in love. Don't be a walking hatred. Don't be somebody dressed in hatred. Be dressed in love. Two things. Life travels in love. The walk of life is the walk of love. The absence of love is the presence of death. And lastly, before we go and pray, the, my, my favorite, in 2020, guard your words. Look behind you and tell he or she, guard your words. The problem of Africans is our mouth. Guard your words. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Death and life are in the Power of the tongue. You will die. Onye ye, onye ye, onye ye, onye ye But 2020, in the next 25 minutes as we enter, you want to stand on your feet and say, Father, possibilities are my name. Am I talking to somebody? Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. He said, For by thy words thou shalt be justified. And by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Hey! Don't speak carelessly in 2020. Stop saying terrible things about yourself. Guard your words. Please understand that both God and the devil doesn't understand jokes. Close now. Look at someone and say, both God and the devil doesn't understand jokes. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 6. God doesn't play. God doesn't joke. He's serious all the time. He has a bonyo face all the time. The devil too doesn't joke. He's serious. Look at Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 6. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thy hands? You can't tell God, Eradin, if I chose or a mistake. Guard your words. Stop saying terrible things about yourself. Your words can ruin your world. So watch your words. You have to stand in the mirror tomorrow. Look at yourself and declare the best of me is coming out in 2020. Am I talking to somebody? I may not be where I want to be, but certainly I'm not where I used to be.
for greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world for this is the victory that overcometh the world look at yourself and declare I am the head and not the tail I am above and not beneath look at yourself and tell the devil better days are ahead of me the fact that some have married and I'm still single is a signal that God has the best package for my life stop condemning yourself stop bringing yourself down stop condemning yourself stop comparing yourself and say to the righteous is shall God your words slap your neighbor and say God your words words transmit life or death words empowers the right or the wrong spirit depending on what is said angels move to bring the word of God to pass vice versa we're praying for a friend of mine in Cape Coast the mother was sick and the mom was so terribly struck down and she kept saying could you Maru? Kojomuru, 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 Kojomu, 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 and she died. Huh? If you say you will die, you will die. If you say 2020, I will buy three houses, angels will move and bring them. You are not here today. You are not here today. If you lay your hands on your head, and declare that 2020 will be the best season of my life angels will hear your word and they will move according to your word if you say to yourself my womb is empowered to be productive if you say to yourself i carry the angel of light that protect my life wherever i am i am covered if you say to yourself that the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid of for when the wicked even my enemies and my foes come up against me to eat up my flesh they shall stumble and they shall fall though an host should encamp against me my heart shall not fear the war shall rise up against me in this will I be confident for one thing of my desire of the law that will I seek after is to dwell in the house of God all the days of my life for in times of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret place of his tabernacle shall my God hide me if you say to yourself we don't serve a dead God but we serve a living God he's the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same forever if God be for you who can be against you when God says yes no man can say no if you speak the right words angels of God are addicted to words they will be moved by your word I declare over your destiny the best days of your life are about to show up what you could not achieve in 2019 get ready I see mighty doors are about to open for you stand to your feet and declare I am blessed shout I am blessed shout I am blessed slap your neighbor and your neighbor get ready for the best days of my year is here speak the right word Stand to your feet. And lastly, avoid living in guilt. Avoid living in guilt. Look at someone say, avoid living in guilt. Lift your hands. In the